Hey everyone, uh, this is Dr. Mungli. So I hope you all are doing great. And today's question for you is, uh, it's a one year old boy who is brought to the physician by his parents because of severe hypotonia. So take a note of, I, a note of hypotonia here. Patient's mother states that he has a difficulty feeding. So take a note of that patient like this baby has got difficulty in feeding. Progressive dyspnea is present and fatigue is present here. Physical examination shows a liver edge about 5 cm below the right coastal margin and that, in, that is indicative of hyp, uh, hepatomegaly there. And rails are heard on auscultation on both the lower lungs fields. It means there is a kind of a respiratory failure going on, pulmonary edema kind of signs and symptoms are basically indicative of here as rails there. And also x-ray shows cardiomegaly. Now considering all these things, so patient has got cardiomegaly, pulmonary edema signs are there, hepatomegaly is seen, hypotonia, difficulty feeding is there and patient is struggling to breathe like progressive dyspnea and fatigue is present. So considering all these um, uh, points here, so among the choices that are given here, so you really need to choose which is the better choice. So if you take a closer look at the choices, so choices from A to E, majority of them are uh, glycogen storage, sorry, glycogen metabolism enzyme here. One is glucose 6-phosphatase, it's one of the enzyme that is needed for glycogen breakdown. Then we have glycogen branching enzyme, then we have lysosomal alpha-1,4 glucosidase and lysosomal sphingomyelinase. This is something not related to glycogen metabolism here and myelo, sorry, myophosphorylase enzyme. Myophosphorylase enzyme is a muscle glycogen phosphorylase enzyme. So if you look at all these choices, so and uh, considering all the signs and symptoms that are given in the case stem, so I would think about Pompe disease as my answer. Pompe's disease is a type 2 glycogen storage disorder and that is because of a deficiency or defect in acid maltase and this acid maltase is there are two kinds of acid maltases one is acid alpha 14 glucosidase and acid alpha 16 glucosidase so option c says lysosomal alpha 14 glucosidase enzyme and that is a correct answer for the question here why not option a to option e except option c here so option A, glucose 6-phosphatase that leads to Van Gerke disease and there will be completely different signs and symptoms that you are going to see there. You can refer to that in my uh, video on Van Gerke disease. You can get a link above here. Now glycogen branching enzyme deficiency leads to Anderson's disease and that is it manifests with different signs and symptoms there. Lysosomal sphingomyelinase enzyme deficiency leads to Neiman Pick disease, which is more of a neurological disorder. Myophosphorylase deficiency leads to muscle glycogen phosphorylase, sorry, McCardell's disease, and that will be a muscle energy disorder, not really the signs and symptoms that are shown here. Let's, uh, so there are two kinds of Pompe disease, infantile Pompe disease and uh, late onset Pompe disease. So the infantile Pompe disease is more common and that's the more lethal one compared to late onset Pompe disease. So in infantile Pompe disease, cardiomyopathy and cardiac failure is the major things. That is the one which leads to death, cardi uh, uh, death in these uh, patients. Whereas late onset Pompe disease is more of a skeletal manifestation you will see rather than cardiac manifestation there. Now, what are the signs and symptoms that you expect to see in infantile Pompe disease? So, I have written here, so the muscle weakness is seen in infantile Pompe disease. So, they will show hypotonia. Overall, the tone of the skeletal muscle is decreased. So, giving rise to floppy baby appearance there. And also, cardiac cardiomyopathy is seen in Pompe disease, so which can give rise to cardiac failure. And cardiac failure is a cause of death in Pompe disease, infantile Pompe disease. Overall, there will be feeding difficulties seen in Pompe disease and that can give rise to failure to thrive. Developmental milestones will be delayed. Respiratory muscles are affected, so it can later give rise to respiratory failure and ultimately patients will be on ventilators. And also these patients will have dysmorphic facial features.
So these are all the signs and symptoms for Pompe disease. So collectively, you need to diagnose a disorder. That's about this question. Thanks for watching, and I'll come up with some other disease later. Have a good time. Take care.